what is up everyone it's been a while since I have posted a video a long long time um, lately I've been playing Conan Exiles I played it in the alpha version and this past Tuesday it finally came out officially on Steam and for release and it we we've just been packed with so many players playing um, today I found something extraordinary for those that are returning to Conan or those that are coming new to Conan. This is for you guys. Um, a lot of people have been wondering where are the Serpent Men recipes? Because if you get a Tier 4 Thrall and you put it into your Blacksmith Bench, you can craft Serpent Men weapons and tools. But in order to craft them, you need the recipe and everyone everywhere has been searching all over the map for the this recipe and today I finally found it and I feel dumb and stupid because it's right there in front of us and we all miss it because um, we think it's somewhere you have to beat a boss to get it no it's actually not and it's very easy and I'm actually gonna show you on the server that I currently play on it's Age of Savalands No Gods 20 XP PvP server. It's a great server. Prime time is around 5 to 8 p.m. Eastern time. We get about max players. Um, it's my friend's uh, server. We we played in private servers beforehand, and it was just we got some bad experience with some admins that didn't stick to the rules that they said or changed it right in the spot but didn't give us an ex they didn't give us or any other any other players there's exception we, have, we do have some fair rules um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you where this is alright so right now I am here near the Shattered Springs I'm gonna head up there um, go to the mounds of the dead so um, Conan is a great game for those returning or coming new there's a lot of different changes the combat system has been updated there is an immense amount of features added to it um, if you're new you're gonna have some problem it's a very high learning curve um, however uh, there's a lot a lot of veterans on the servers including the private servers that are willing to help you um, this server there's a baby about a quarter of the people that play on this server are veterans and the rest are all new people and time and time again we tell people do not build tier one um, try to get to tier three uh, this particular server we have a rule is if you build on or south of the new river uh, which look, after I get past this bear I'll show you what uh, we mean by new river so this right here this this lake this huge river here is considered new river if you build on or south of it you're uh, protected from raiding. Um, it's not like private. It's not like uh, official servers where official servers free for all. It doesn't matter where you build, you get raided. Private servers are very um, fair in a sense. All right. So what you want to do is you want to come up to the north. You're going to need a veneer armor set or an, or an armor set that will protect you from the cold star metal is a good one as well but if you do not have star metal or don't have the resources to make star metal veneer is a very good option so what um there's a new feature added in the game it's um called the cartography um you have to go to the unnamed city to learn it by doing so you get to teleport anywhere on the map well I wouldn't say anywhere. I would say you get to teleport to specific areas throughout the map. Um, and you need a map room in order to teleport. So right now I'm heading to Mount of the Dead. We, there is a clan on here that has building map rooms around the map so that we can teleport 
uh, around the map when needed. And one of them that I know that I'm near is Mount of the Dead. Um, and I'll show you. Once we get to the Mount of the Dead, I'm going to teleport to the volcano area. And then from there, I will show you where the Serpent Man recipe is. Um, and, and if you do want to join this server, it's great. Um, there's rewards if you go onto topconanservers.com and you upvote the server. When you come back in, um, the admins will give you a tier 4 crafting thrall of your choice. Which is great, especially when you're trying to um, maybe get an alchemist or a blacksmith to improve your resources. So right here, this little uh, pillar with smoke around it, that's an attunement spire that's new. Um, you go up to it, you press E on it if you're playing PC, and you attune your bracelet, and by, um, when you learn cartography, when you teleport, you teleport to that place there. Let's just get rid of this guy here. Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, remind me not to mess with them like that. Okay, so I can't... I We recently got raided, so I have to go to the desert. However, um, there's a spot here in the dregs that has another... Uh, actually, I don't think it has one, now that I think of it. I'm going to have to go up to the sinkhole to the teleport, which is fine. I can easily get there quickly. Um, so I'm going to have to go to the sinkhole, teleport to the Mounds of the Dead, grab my equipment, then teleport back to the volcano. And I really thought this was going to be a short video. Maybe I should have run from the skeleton. Um, skeletons don't normally one hits you. Another thing about this server is the, the settings are on barbaric. So NPCs do hit a lot harder than they normally would. But you might be thinking, oh that's too hard. It actually isn't. It's great if you know how to fight, if you know how to dodge. There's dodging in the game. Um, there's locking on. It makes it for a much fair game type. If it was easy, a lot of the clan, a lot of the veterans that can't come in would would be dominating the server. Um, but that's not the fact here. We do have several clans that are very big. My clan is is decently sized we have a lot of other clans that are larger than us and we do very well still um, and there's newer players that have come in that have have learned have gotten a chance to learn how to do things and it has given them a chance to be up on the rankings with us as veteran players Um, I won't go too much in detail. I'm not going to go into detail about the system mechanics, uh, the different features. I will go along with them if I come across them. But I, uh, this video is mainly just for the Serpent Man. If you want me to make a video about all the features in the game, uh, combat, um, attributes, and feats, please let me know. And I, I will definitely try and make that video for you. Um, I have gotten a better system since the last video I have done. I am now running a, a um, Asus, uh, no, not Asus, an Azrock motherboard with an Asus monitor, um, uh, uh, NVIDIA GeForce 1050 Ti graphics card with an i5 7600K 70, CPU. So I'm getting a lot better frames in my games and a lot. I'm, I'm able to play higher end games so I'll be able to do a lot of recording and not have to worry about lag so right now we're trying to head, head over here to the sinkhole that's the arena for some people and also called the pit for some uh, there's many different names uh, that you can use for it it's a place where there is another attunement uh, spire um, and, and and also a place where a clan has put a map room to teleport. Um, the great thing about it is, I guess, maybe Funcom has heard people talk 
the despawn rate of your body has decreased yes decreased so I, I have plenty of time to get to the pit to teleport to Mount of the Dead to grab my body and I got a zigzag here because some sp there's there's a lot more spiders now it, it, there's another feature um, some spiders don't spit um, they actually <laughs> zoom if I would say saying it correctly they charge at you and you can tell when they're charging because there's a, an effect that they do around their body that shows that All right, so I gotta go ahead over here um, Ooh boy, that's a big boss spider there. I'm gonna stay away from him. Uh, bosses do take a long time to kill on this server, just to let you know. But that's only if you're soloing them. If you solo them, they're gonna take a while. If you have a group of two to three people, you will have more than ample time to kill the boss. <laughs> um, there are some really scary looking bosses especially in the new uh, biomes there's a jungle biome and of course if you look all the way to the top hand right hand corner of my screen there's long spires up there that are volcano in the jungle <laughs> we found uh, me and my clan found a um, half spider half praying mantis I guess you could say Alright, I'm going to have to lose this spider in order to teleport. That's a map room right there behind me um, that I'm trying to get to. But I have an, two hyenas and a spider chasing me. I really don't want them to chase me at the moment. Please don't suit. Yeah, so this spider doesn't suit. Of course, they're going to come up that way. So, I'm going to drop again down here. And head back over to the map room. And now they're stuck up there, and I lost them. Okay, great. So this is what the map room looks like. This is where you can teleport. The, but you can only teleport if you have... Oh, see, this is the, the admins created this one here. So I need to go to the Mound of the Dead, which is right here. So I press E, I teleport. And I'm going to get my stuff, which I knew... No, it's to the east of the obelisk here All right now it's gonna find my body let's do this so I can look underwater if I can, if it will let me no it won't let me I literally have to find it all right so I was um there is a new thing your body does glow your bracelet glows so it lets you know where your dead body is but being that I did die in water, it's going to be a hard time finding it. Is that it over there? No, that's not it. I wish it was nighttime already so I could find my body somewhere. Okay, it has to be near the skeleton here. Because I knew I died by the skeleton. Oh boy. Where is my body? Ew, I did die over here. I knew it was near the spear, but I don't know where. Oh shit, ooh, that was close. I wish it was night. Nighttime I could easily spot it because it glows. I'll drink water. Where is my body? My stomach hurts. Look. <coughs> There's a lotus flower. Where is my body? Well, this really sucks. I can't find it because it's not glowing. And that's a player. Oh shit. I wonder if he found my stuff. I hope he didn't. Let's see, where is he? What 
the hell? I just saw him. Where did he go? I'm gonna try looking up here to see if I can spot my body from up here. Ow, oh, that hurt. Alright, let's try going up here. Maybe I can spot it from up here. <clears throat> if I can't find it, um, I'll just have to run very quickly to the volcano area and show you where it's at. Oh, I found it. There it is. Shit, he's standing right on top of it. Fuck! Oh! All right, I know where it is now. Okay. All right, let's do this again for the third try. Third, <laughs> second time, I should say. Where do I start? Okay, I start pretty far off. All right, let's do this again. All right, now I know where my body is. I know it's gonna stay there. I have ample time to get there. That's all right. Let's let's try this. Okay. If anything, I can just cut the video out. As a matter of fact, um, I will cut the video out here. Um, let I will meet you back when I get my body. See you then. If you want to skip ahead, I'll post the um, on-screen link so that you can click to teleport to that location, to that timestamp, and we can get started from there. See you then.
Alright guys, so welcome back. Unfortunately, my body dis disappeared. Um, it's still there, however, there is a glitch that if you die uh, a bit too many times, it won't show you your body. And at the moment, there's no admins at the moment online. There's probably going to be online in an hour or so, but I'm kind of screwed. I just lost all my stuff. But what I will quickly show you is how to get there. Alright, so... Let's get to the amount of the... Where is that cartographer place? Uh, there's one here. If I can find it. I just have to find that place where it's at. And use it. Alright, let's find it. find this uh, map room. I knew it was, I know it was here because I used it unless I, I, I swear I hope somebody did not take it down. Oh. Just have to find it around here somewhere. <laughs> Let's check on the base over. I do have eggs on me, that way I get both water and food, so 
I can survive longer than I almost died last time. So it looks like somebody must have gotten rid of that map room, because I do not see it anywhere. Let me just check one more time for my body. I went away from the area, so it should have come back up. What was that? Did anyone else just see that right there? It's like somebody falling. And would you look at that? Got my stuff. See? All right, awesome. It's a good thing I came. Oh, so now I know how to how the, to unglitch myself that way. There we go. As you can see, I had ample time to grab my stuff back again. All right, let's put on that veneer clothing. Oh shit! I'm still coming after me. No, get away from me. Let's go on top of this here, so he can't get to me. Let's put my stuff back on. Alright, so. Welcome back, everybody. I finally got to my body just in time. I did have a sort of problem. I uh, couldn't find my body, actually. It had despawned. However, it was still there. It just hadn't loaded in yet. So I had to go out of the area, come back in, find my body take my stuff quickly and run away from that laughing skeleton so now I'm here um, unfortunately the map room here is gone somebody got rid of it so what I will do is I have food and water so I will travel up there and show you guys um, where it is so I'm actually going to head up to here the dragon mouth it's the actually uh, that's a it's a good way to get up there. Dragon Mouth is a good way, but it's very risky because you have a lot of um, a lot of lava you have to pass. Um, I will. My best bet is I'm gonna come up this way, go past the Black Keep, and come up this way to the through the Road of the Pilgrim. That's the easiest way to get there. Alrighty. Let's do it. Equip my stuff. Um, another thing about the volcano area, there's only one set of armor that can get you into the volcano area without dying, and that is the Silent Legion armor set. If you do not have it and you enter the volcano area, you will die of heat stroke. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You need Silent Legion. Um, Let's see. Anyway, bow. What else do we need? Food. Where's my food? Where's my food? Alright, I think that's it. Let's head on up there. Alright. So, now finally, on to... The volcano area. Is that a... That's a thrall. That's probably who I saw. So, some of you might be wondering that my encumbrance icon is flashing and I'm over encumbered. And how is it that I'm able to sprint? It's not a glitch. There are attributes in the game, like just like pre previously, except now there are levels of attributes. Um, right now, I am at max encumbrance, uh, 50 encumbrance, and when I reach max 50 encumbrance, there's a skill that allows me to run and sprint while at full encumbrance. So, t if you look at me, I have 157 encumbrance. Here's the skill tree. Momentum whenever when over encumbered you can move at full speed It's great. I love it. Um, however, it does um, have a toll on your 
uh, stamina, as you can tell. Um, if you're over encumbered, your stamina will drain a lot faster than if you weren't, but you can still sprint and run. I really don't want to have to go over that wall. I will go through the dragon mouth. It's the fastest way, and I'll just have to be careful when I'm in there. Uh, there are multiple entrances into the volcano. There's one near the frost temple cave. There's one that I'm going to right now, which is dragon mouth. And there's two that you can, that, that you can actually walk right up into from the south. And there's also an entrance from the jungle called the passage. There are multiple ways to get into the volcano. And only one way to get to that recipe. So I will show you where you need to go. It's very easy. Um, it's You can't get lost in it. The only part about the volcano that you need to be careful of is that um, when in the volcano area, area your thirst um, increases. So you're going to have to use a lot of water or a lot of liquid to recrense your thirst. I have here about almost 132 berry pulps. Berry pulps for all, any of you new players are excellent for use in the winter. If you use water, um, if you use a leather water skin in the winter area and you drink that water, you actually start breaking your temperature gates down. It actually makes you colder. Berry pulp doesn't. It doesn't do anything. All it does is quench your thirst. Um, you might be wondering what, what then what's the point of cooling down well if you're in the um, volcano area or if you're in an area where it's really hot and you're too hot than normal you don't want to go into heat stroke drinking water will cool you down so you don't get heat stroke so that's the benefit of water skins but if you're in the frost north there is no benefit. You're going to kill yourself if you drink normal water. So berry pulp is an excellent resource. So there's the volcano area. It's massive. There's dragon mouth. It looks like a mouth. It doesn't look like a dragon, but it looks like a mouth. So this is one way to enter the volcano. Once I enter the cave and I start heating up, I'm going to change over to my Silent Legion gear. As a matter of fact, is there something that I could drop that I don't need? I don't need stone. Or the eggs. I do need those. I recently raided uh, someone so I have a lot of their stuff the veneer and the silent leads and stuff is mine though a great thing about this um, server is if you get raided um, you do have raid protection you have to report it if you do not report it you won't get the raid protection the raid protection is for 24 hours All right, so I entered the cave I had to put in my uh, gear I sound losing gear, also I'd start getting a heat stroke because it is hot in here. This is the little cave that gets to it. I'm gonna go ahead and heal a little bit. Alright. So, this is where you spawn. So you go into Dragon Mouth here. This is where you spawn, which is good because you need to go here to the well of Skelos. And if you don't know where that is, even by looking at the map, that's it right there. You just look for the glowing beam of light, and that is where the Well of Skelos is. Be careful here, because touching that water... I'm sorry, what did I say? That lava, you will die instantly. Don't even let it touch your toes. You will die instantly. So, I have to get... Looks like uh, there are some foundations here that some people built to get across the, the, the lava. Um, great. Um, so actually, now that I th now that I can see, Dragon Mouth is the most direct and easiest path to get to the well of Skelos. You just follow this 
black path here and it'll take you to the bottom of the well of Skelos. This place here is also great. There are plenty of thralls. Um, the, th the great thing is that is that the thralls will not attack you unless you attack them first. Um, so if you see a lot of thralls, don't be scared. If you're if you don't want to get attacked by them, you won't unless you attack them. All right. So now on to the serpent men. Let's go to the snake here. gone now to get to the superman skin you're i'm in the right location and i don't know how i didn't see it all these other times but this is what you're going to do you're going to go up the stairs do not fall off it's okay if you fall off here actually let me show you what happens if you fall off here no i didn't die that's not anything but you get teleported to the volcanic forge which is where you learn to make obsidian weapons you go there to beat the boss get the recipe for the obsidian weapons and then you go here to volcanic forge to craft the obsidian weapons that's all this place is for so if you fall down this hole don't be don't be afraid just come to this little portal here run into it and you're back to the well of skelos all right so what you want to do is you want to run up to these stairs keep going Then you find there's another way up. I just gotta find it here. Is it this side, no. Here it is. Go to this little outside. Go up the stairs. Oh, that was a bit lag there. And then need to go up there as well. I always get lost in this area because it's so kind of it's kind of complex in a way. spot that let, that takes you up I'm just gonna climb it because I don't want to waste too much time but it's, I'm not gonna make it so I'm not actually not going to do that I'll just try I'll just try to find the way up multiple spots I can rest so if you can't if all spells just climb up here and you want to get up to the near the top of the well oh boy that was close Top here. Oh boy, that was close. Come in into one of the doors, the archways. It's which is on the other side. You want to be careful because as soon as you climb the stairs at the very top there are serpent men there so you want to be very careful so I'm not gonna so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to we get my stamina and come up here and this slab right here press E on it and that is where you learn 
the Serpent Man recipes. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or want me to do any other videos on anything else coming in, please let me know. I'll see you guys later.